All right. Hello, everyone. We're just going to do a quick little unboxing. I've been waiting for this for a really long time. I actually purchased it when they were in the middle of moving from Australia to LA. So I had to wait on like they called it like a pre-order thing. Uh, and now it finally came here. So we're going to unbox it together. I did open the box it came in because I totally thought it was something else. So it's not in the box, but we've got everything else is untouched. So this is how it arrived. The box is attached to the book, but mine was ripped open. It's ripped in a couple places, you can see. So I did not do that. It was like that. And then we've got a couple cards here. Hey there, beautiful. Thank you for being drawn to our creations. Um, with a little like thank you note. And then care info. So my book, the other thing I noticed just in the brief viewing that I had of it, my book is a little bit damaged, but could be worse. It could be so much worse. So one of the reasons why I wanted to get this deck was for this book. Look at all of the information it gives you. Zodiac, elements, planetary ruler, the number, obviously with a 10, it would be a 10. Upright, reversed, quick read, notes, helpful tips. So yeah, I really was drawn to this book. Sad that mine is slightly banged up, but like I said, could be worse, could be worse. And then we have the actual box. So let's get the cellophane off and have a look. All right, so it opens. Oh, I never noticed that detail before. A little magnetic open this way. Oh, I don't like hearing that cracking. I trust my intuition. I feel with my heart. I know with my being. I see with my soul. And our cards are wrapped here. Let's see if I can do this easily. I don't recommend just grabbing this and ripping because I've actually damaged some of my decks, the edge here, like right on the seam. So I will never do that again. So here we have the back. You can kind of, I don't know if it'll pick it up, but it is like a linen kind of look to it. Pretty thick but doesn't feel like it'll be tricky to shuffle. Now the deck itself is pretty chunky and it's got that like sparkly gold matte finish on the sides. Okay, so let's have a peek. And again, I really enjoy the elemental symbols and the planetary symbols. And someone else had mentioned this when they were talking about this deck, that they love that this is very subtle. The words are very subtle and they don't jump out to you immediately. Now, I will say it's actually like brown in person. I don't know why, but I was expecting the edge of the card to be more like this color, a little more pinky. So it's kind of brown in person. Yeah, like even the back is like a peach color compared to it. But I still love it. The gold detailing on it is fantastic. even like so subtle like just little subtle lines
big stretch. Any dog or cat person, oh, big stretch. Look how fierce. Oh, there you can see the linen pattern. Look how fierce this hanged man is. I'm obsessed. See, again, just like the subtle details with that gold stamping. Brilliant. I enjoy that. That's a bit of a different, like, posture pose for the star, kind of like that. No wolf or dog or lobster slash crayfish in our moon. Oh, the little cherubs. Ooh. And that's interesting. This is another card that I was just obsessed with. Like that is just so well done. Two of cups. Oh, look at their adorable faces. This reminds me of oh, that mirror in Harry Potter. Gorgeous moon in that one. It's hard to tell. I don't think it's a fish in the cup. This is another gorgeous queen. Oh, even her dress. Obsessed. So this king, like the, the tilt of the head, it's such a subtle little detail, but I think it just embodies the aspects of the King of Cups. Like it just seems empathetic. I don't know what about that expression seems empathetic to me, but it does. On to pentacles. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with their outfits. It's 
So it seems like a little pippish at times, like some cards, like this one I would say is a pip card. You still kind of get the feeling with the snow, but you don't have that story being told. Whereas this one, there's a bit more of a story. Well, not a bit more, there is a story. Where's the dog? Do you see the dog? Nope. No dog for this family. Page. Whoa, this queen's got like a wicked little headdress there. Swords. Interesting how, oh, maybe this is the way with all the sword suits. It's a black and white hand now. What's our glowing part? Oh, just the outline of the sword. So here's our black and white figure again. Pretty traditional three of swords. Nope, she's not black and white. I noticed it on another card too. Now I can't remember which one it was. Pretty dark, like almost a little tricky to see what's happening here. So this one has a solo boat tripper. This gives me, it's giving me like heavy as the head that wears the crown vibes. Look at our person there. Bit of a different feel, I guess. And our page. Our fast moving night, which you can really kind of get an idea for the speed. Oh, I love that she's got that owl, a snowy. our wands with our flashy leaves. Well, that's a black and white hand as well. So maybe it's all the aces and I just haven't been paying attention. Is that a scroll? Yep. No people in our Four of Wands. Here's more black and white hands. So it must just be 
the odd card here and there. It's like a concert. What is she looking like? It's almost like there's like fast moving ones behind this person. Pretty traditional. Eight. Nine. What is, what do they got? Oh, it's just her outfit. I thought they were holding a book to their chest, but it's her outfit, her like corsety kind of top. 10. Usually wands are on the back in this one, on the person's back, but she's carrying them. Our page. Night. So just the, just his little tip of the, I guess his wand, which is on the other side of the horse. What's his face? Oh, her dress and her sunflower. Gorgeous. And last, King of Wands. All right. Now, I'm going to try a shuffle here. I do not enjoy shuffling brand new decks, especially Chunky Monkey decks like this, because, well, I'm not good at it. It looks like there's a bit of a bow, just ever so slightly. Is that my imagination? I feel like I'm seeing it, but let's give it a go. Let's see how I embarrass myself here. Yeah, just so I'm seeing a little bit of a bow this way as well. Oh, they are stiff, but decent. Can't quite, I mean, I, I like to say that I have average size hands um, and I can't quite <laughs> grab the whole deck, but not bad. They feel really good. So we'll pull a card and then just kind of do like go more in depth with the, the words on the card itself and the words in the book for those people who want more of that kind of information. Queen of Pentacles, our crowned Queen of Pentacles. So for upright, the words that we have are nurturing, practical, generous, welcoming, sensible, luxurious, caring, homebody, good business sense, and working parent. And if we're going to reverse it, we have selfish, unkempt, materialistic, gold digger, self-absorbed, envious, work home, conflict, jealous, insecure, greedy, and intolerant. Okay, so now... I'm actually really excited to see um, how the court cards read. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles depicts a level of success, prosperity, luxury, stability, and home abundance. She knows how and when to show love, be it domestically or sensually. Do not mistake her for being only a homebody. Alongside all these motherly attributes, she can plan business ventures and execute her plans successfully. So the zodiac is Capricorn and the element is Earth, which are shown upright and reversed on the card. So upright, quick read, love, stability, abundance, nurturing, kind partner, domestic comfort, career. Okay, so it breaks it down. So love, 
stability, abundance, nurturing, kind partner, domestic comfort, career, talented, business person, mentor, colleague, finance, financial security, responsible with finances and good deals, reversed, love, shallow and selfish partner, relationship for wrong reasons, career, bad business partner, unreliable or jealous colleague, finance, money, mismanagement, hoarding. And then over here, so you've got your section to create your notes and a helpful tip. Okay, so the helpful tip looks like it applies to the one on the next page. So let's... Helpful tip. Queens are beautiful, mature energy who embody the traits of their element and radiate that energy from the inside out. She is the living, breathing personification. She leads by example by setting her intentions and beliefs and following through in alignment with her inner world. This is the feminine energy or yin. Okay, so does this book, let's, does it have any spreads? Intro about your cards, blessing the cards, making your deck sacred. Asking questions, follow-up questions, shuffling. So a little bit about the tarot. Got oh, some cute little doodles. A little drawing to help explain this a little better. So that looks like they're talking about the fool's journey, which is interesting. I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, okay, so then it looks like... Oh, this is the fool's journey. So it talks, there's a little paragraph for every major arcana, looks like. Oh, and then there's a paragraph about court cards, paragraphs about each suit, quick tips, still looking for spreads. Planets elements, numerology. Wow, this is an excellent book for beginners, for sure. Okay, so we have like a beginner three card spread with the different placement options. But that looks to be it for spreads, which is fine because there are tons of resources out there for you to find for spreads. But yeah, definitely enjoying or I will enjoy the Lucid Dreams Beginner Tarot. So that's your brief little sort of unboxing because I unboxed the actual box myself by accident. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.